To me, dance is just, it's this incredible way for me to express myself. He has the longest commute of any student that we've ever had. I wake up at 4.45. Either my mother or father will drive me about 45 minutes to Harvard Metro Station. That train will leave at 6.22. At 8.10, I'll take a school bus and we'll get here just before 8.30. I do it six days a week. Zach is an incredible human being, not just a talented dancer, but has uh, great insight. Um, has a gift that uh, we tapped into very, very early. As an eighth grader, he was dancing with the top dancers at his little studio. And so we knew that for him to continue to grow, which he wanted, um, we'd have to travel some. It was when Zachary first saw the senior showcase. Um, we weren't sure, because it was so far to drive and it seemed like a lot to all of us. But when he saw them dance that night, he just was saying, I'm coming. I'm coming and then we're like okay whatever it takes you're going it was really what works for zachary and how can we fit it into our schedules we, we just made it fit to us the arts are really about developing a capacity for imagination a capacity for community and a capacity for joy and in my opinion is what could possibly be more important than those things <laughs> When he performed the first time in the faculty show here, he had transformed so much as a dancer. I was watching and I was like this. And then as he finished, because I didn't look away at all, I look over and Dave is right next to me too. We were just in awe that that was our child and he was magic on the stage. I, I don't think there's anything else like it. Uh, performing. You get the adrenaline rush and you know I've, I've put in six months into working with this, with these people, with this choreography, with this choreographer. It all accumulates to what I've, this is what I've done and this is who I am. Wow, Zach's here with us now all the way from Whitewater, Wisconsin and we arranged for Zach to stay at a hotel here in the city overnight simply so you could be here because that commute is so Wild, man. You know, as a parent, I'm really taken aback, not only by, you know, you want to see your children achieve and go the extra mile to chase their dreams, which you're doing, which is phenomenal, but I also look at your parents and their commitment yeah. to your dream. How does that make you feel that parents who are so committed to ensuring that you have success down the road? I mean, it's, it's one of the best feelings ever. I mean, just like that my parents are there for me and they always support me. Um, like, no matter what I'm doing, I know that they'll be there. My mom commutes like four hours a day just trying to drive me to the train station and then going to her work. Wow. So, yeah, it's like, it's, it's really great to know that they're willing to do that much for me. And you're a junior now. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, where do you want to dance your senior year? What's the dream? Um, well, so, so I'll go senior year back to CAA and then after that I'm hoping maybe for the Joffrey Ballet, the company. Well, we actually have a friend over there and we reached out to him, told him your story, Zach, and a veteran dancer there who you've actually met has a special message for you. Hey Zach, it's Derek Agnoletti from the Joffrey Ballet. Um, I'm just sending you a quick message to congratulate you for your dedication and perseverance of the art form of ballet. You were a joy to have in my classes this summer. I was quite inspired by you. Um, I did not know that you travel that far to go to the Chicago Academy of the Arts, but that impresses, I think, a majority of people to hear that. And in regards to that, I would like to invite you to come watch us at the Joffrey in a rehearsal and company class. Once again, I really, really admire your work and your perseverance and dedication. So how about that? <laughs> Pretty That's cool, amazing. right? Yeah, thank you. Really cool, especially to hear that he's inspired by you. <laughs> yeah. That that's incredible. So That's the amazing. surprises have not stopped, Zach. We actually have another surprise for you. You're used to spending six hours a day in either your parents' car, school bus, or a train, <laughs> just getting to and from school, which is absolutely wild. Well, this morning, we want to send you off in style. Our reporter, John Hansen, he's outside with your ride to school. Take a look at that right there. I think you'll be cool with that, huh? That's a Rolls Royce. That's John Hansen, Emmy nominated, and a very expensive car. I think that's pretty cool stuff. I don't know why you're sitting here hanging with us. You need to get up out of that chair and go wait for your car. Go ahead. Go get in that Rolls Royce. Don't waste your time with mere mortals like us.
at acehotel.com. And there goes our guy. You see that? Zach, are you pretty pumped about this Rolls Royce? Yeah, I am. This is amazing. I mean, I've never been in a Rolls Royce, so I'm pretty excited for you being able to do it as a teenager. Pretty surprised so far this morning? I am, yeah. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, nope. That's our treat. We got more treats along the way as well. But before them, I need to put you to work a little bit. I need you to give us a little bit of the weather forecast. So I gave it to you. Are you ready to give us today's weather forecast? Yeah. All right, what do you got? It's uh, 26 degrees outside, and it's windy, and it's really cold. Can you confirm that? I can confirm. It's very cold, <laughs> yes. 30s and 20s into next week. All right, Zach, we're going into the Rolls Royce. You ready to get in there? Yeah. All right. Sneaking on in that Rolls Royce. I'm going to scoot on over. Mickey from DS Luxuries here as well. Guys, we're taking off. Back to you guys. It is awesome. I'm playing with the windows here this morning. This is so cool. Zach, how's this ride to school today? This is the coolest ride I've ever had. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i saying the same thing. This is a Rolls Royce. You can rent it yourself if you want. DSLuxury.gold, right, Mickey? Yes, that's correct. Can you give us a few specs on what this car is like? So it's a Rolls Royce Ghost. It's their four-door, and it's the black edition, fully blacked out. This is amazing. $12.99. That's not $12.99 to rent this thing a day. $12.99 to rent it, but they got a whole bunch of fleet of other things. All right, so, Zach, we got to talk about this. Your parents, we met them. They're so sweet. What do the parents' support mean to you? Um, the support's it's the best, one of the best things. I mean, just the fact that they're willing to do all this stuff for me every day. It's amazing. Well, they feel it's reciprocal in many ways. We were able to be able to chat with your parents about what you dancing means to them. Take a look. Very soon after he started walking, Dave is a musician, and so not only does he play music, but he makes mixtapes, and Zachary would ask for dance songs and dance around the living room. And then if anyone came over, he'd ask, do you want to see me dance? But it was kind of like, see me dance? <laughs> so, um, we just realized he loved it. I like music a lot. I like to listen to music. And he's added a whole new dimension to it. So he's made music more rich for me because there's this dance thing that happens with it. All right, so we're in this car. Your parents obviously give you so much support. Is this better than the car ride, the metro ride, and then the bus ride? This is 100 times better than all of that, yeah. All right, so we got to ask you. You're normally up this early in the morning. You're, you have another hour to get on the train. Are you hungry right now? Yeah, I'm hungry. I could eat some. Well, that's good, because we got some breakfast. We're going to Goddess of the Baker next. Yeah, no surprise. It is really chilly this morning. But I'm going to have Zach, our uh, student that we're driving around in a Rolls Royce. He's going to help us out with the weather today. Hey, Zach, what's the forecast for today? Well, it's warm in here, so. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, Zach's big shot now. He's got a Rolls Royce and everything. Doesn't want to help me out with the weather anymore. But Ricky will. Ricky, how you doing this morning? I'm good, man. How are you? Are you cold? What, what are you feeling? I am freezing. Yeah. I, I was in shorts last week. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> I think that's how we all feel. What the hell is going on? Is this your earmuffs? Just the headphones? These are. These are my bows, and they keep my ears warm, and <laughs> I can cancel everything out. It's solid. Zach, you having fun so far today? I'm having a lot of fun. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about this breakfast spread in a second, but we got to mention last night. So normally, he commutes three hours each way. You didn't have to do that because we put you up in a hotel, right? I did. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, I finished school at 6. I was at home basically by 6.20. It was it was incredible. It was just 20 minutes. What was the Ace Hotel like? Ace Hotel was amazing. It was, it was really nice. The, it was comfortable and it was sleek. It was, I, it was. Thank you so much. Comfortable and sleek. I like that. By the way, you can make reservations online. Just go to their website and be able to make it. We got to give them a big shout out. And obviously, after all this, we're taking you to the school, Chicago Academy for the Arts. We talked about it last hour. What an awesome opportunity and a place for them to give you a chance to do what you want to do. Yeah, I know. It's it's amazing. It's like you get to go to one place and meet all the different people from all around Chicago who want to do the same thing as you. It's, it's yeah. awesome. We got to thank Goddess and the Baker too. We got a breakfast sandwich, a morning sandwich with avocado coming up, an Iron Man omelet. We're going to do that fruit plate. We got a burrito. They're going to be bringing out more stuff. So other guys, we are going to be eating good here for the next little while before we get back in that Rolls Royce. But why have me just tell the weather? We got Zach. We're treating him all day to a Rolls Royce. We just gave him breakfast at Goddess and the Baker. He was at the Ace Hotel last night. So now you got to work for it, Zach, okay? All right. All right. So I'm going to do the weather and he's a dancer at the Chicago Academy for the He's going to dance along a little bit. All right, so today it's going to be cold. 26 degrees is a high. Oh, look at that dramatic cold. Uh, we might even get a snow flurry a little bit later on. Oh, yeah, very good. <laughs> I love that. I need to take some moves from you. All right, tomorrow we warm up a little bit, 33, but then more snow perhaps in the seven-day forecast. Snow, cold. Yeah, use that tree, Zach. Come on, let's go around it. See, like this, you just kind of dance around. I got to teach the dancer how to do some of these dance moves. That's totally fine.
Yeah, we did make it to school on time, and it was a lot quicker, of course, than the six-hour commute. Got to thank DS Luxury Dot Gold for their wonderful Rolls Royce. This thing costs thirteen hundred dollars a day. You can rent it, and they say you can actually rent it in gold if you like. Zach, you're at the Chicago Academy for the Arts. How was your ride today? It was amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, it's our pleasure. We got to give a thanks. Obviously, you stayed last night to the Ace Hotel. You can go on their website if you want to make a reservation, and of course, to the Chicago Academy of the Arts. Good luck, Zach, for everything. Have fun, and do one more dance as you go away. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Guys, back to you in the studio.